Hey there. So it's been a while since I did a dick profile. Um, a while back, I got hit by a copy strike. And because of that, um, I didn't post for a few months. Just recently, about last month, I would say, I uploaded the video that got me copy strike. But this time, I changed a few things. And now, um, I have no copyright strike. So I'm back up uploading. So yeah. Um, this, um, the first deck profile I want to come back to is my Hobby Girl deck. So, you know, all my decks I built are casual and, like, meant for casual play only. They're not meant to be, like, high competitive, nothing like that. They're meant to be more, like, to play with your friends or your family members or whatever. It's more for casual play. So, this deck is meant to be like that as well. And... This is like a happy deck, but also focus on happy girl. So you will see some other cards that, but like similar to happy deck, it just was happy girl added to it mostly. So let's start. First, I'm running three happy girl. Um, mostly not the nothing special about her, just just a vanilla two star, no effect. And because of that, I'm running three regular or, uh, vanilla hoppy lady. No effect, but yeah. Um, so also running three rescue rabbit for the kids. Because mostly the hoppy girl and the hoppy lady is your main card. Your main do go. I uh, don't know how to say this. But main, main cards you want to go to. Uh, mostly Happy Lady, but Happy Girl is a backup choice. So that way I'm running three Rescue Rabbit. Mostly for the tribute itself to get two Vanilla Monster of the same name. Next, I'm running three Happy Chandler. Um, a staple of mostly uh, every Happy deck. Um, discard the Happy card from your hand. Special summon the Happy Monster from your graveyard. Not graveyard, from your deck, I mean. I'm only running two Happy Perfumer because I don't have enough for a, a third one. I do have more Happy Perfumer. I think I have like a total of like eight Happy Perfumer. But they're like in my other Happy Lady decks. I have like four Happy Lady decks to be honest. Each one's different build. This one's Focus Happy Girl as, as an example. So Happy Perfumer is that when it's normal summon or special summon, I think. Um... You can add a happy a card that said the mentioned happy lady sister in the the um from your deck to your hand. So you, mostly you want to go is for illicit equities and such. Next, I'm running two happy queens just to get the field spell. Nothing special. Um, and one happy um dancer just because to add variety and one happy. It, it um happy harvest, um happy harvest. When you send it to the graveyard, you can add a happy card mostly from your deck to your hand at the end phase of the turn that was sent to the grave. So yeah, um, this is I'm only running in it because I guess happy girl, um the trap brigade kit. What it does is um I get removed from play um. Hobby, not hobby, wing beast, beast, or be beast warrior from my like, graveyard. Up uh, and sink, link summon a, not link summon, but special summon a link monster equal to the, um, what do you call it? Um, arrows. So, what it does is I can manage like my, uh, my monsters to special summon, um, let's say, hobby conductor. From the grave. And the only down, of, down effect this has. Or negative effect. Is that. Um, it can only. As the rest of the turn. You can only link summon. For. What you call. Wing beast. No wing. Oh. For my deck is wing beast. But there's beast warrior and beast. So yeah. Um, but because. Mostly on my deck is wing beast. Mostly. So that's not really a negative effect. And only that is only affects link summon. So yeah, so for spells, I'm running three unsuspected dive, 
an unexpected die because I'm running th um six vanilla. Um, my main goal is to go for Happy Lady. Um, again, I noticed people are using this very often in Happy Lady deck, and I do use it from a Happy Girl deck because again, I have six vanilla, and um, yeah, her unexpected die. What it does is you can switch them in the level four or lower. Normal monster from your deck to your field, but you cannot have other cards on the field at the time that you activate this. And some other stuff I'm running is Happy Feather Duster. Not Happy Feather Duster, Happy Feather Rest. Um, what it does is that you could, it's like a part of Avarice, but for Happy Lady, return some Happy Lady monsters, or Happy Monsters from the grave to your deck, and then you draw a card. But, um, if you have a level 6 or higher, left 5 or higher, I think, a happy monster, um, you can draw 2 instead, but because I'm not running sister or bed dragon this day, and I only mostly draw one card. And also running a happy feather duster, because it's like a staple in the happy, mostly it's staple, yeah. And 2 elegant egotists, only running 2 because... Um, uh, because you mostly want to, you mostly gonna special summon your happy lady sister, not happy lady, there's no happy lady sister, but you mostly gonna summon your happy lady through an expected die or what you call it, rescue rabbit. So, but two and is good enough because you might want to reshovel your deck, your happy lady with happy feather rest in uh, like one turn. And I'm running three historic sign. Sorry about this. Um, historic sign. What it does is that when you activate it, you search for elegantus, elegant egotist from your deck, grave, and add it to your hand. A one one of either grave or deck, and add it to your hand. Um, also, if you do not activate this effect that turn, um, when they sent to the graveyard, you get add three hobby cards. From the deck to your hand. But it cannot activate both effects at the same time. Only one at the, one at a time. And because I'm running um, Happy Ladies. I'm running, new, I'm running two Happy Hunting Ground. Um, mostly just for the sake of it. And like again this is a casual play mostly. Or casual build. So mostly meant for casual play once again. So yeah. And I'm running two Wing Requido. Requido? Requido. I don't know how to pronounce it completely. It's mostly like about the great for hobby cur um not hobby, wing piece, but um for hobby deck also. What it does is if you control two or more hobby no uh two or more wing piece, monster you can draw two cards, and I believe this is a down effect. Oh no, there's mostly no down effect except for. You pay 600 life points and you draw two cards, but you have to control two happy, nah, I say happy monsters with original name, but because the happy monster does have original name, it just count as happy ladies on the field. So yeah. And for traps, of course the staple and the main must run card is happy feather dust, happy feather storm, my bad. Um, when activated, Negate mostly your opponent monster effects for the rest of the turn. Very powerful card. Must run three. And lastly, my my tech is always mirror wall. Um, historic party and yeah, historic party. Discard the card from your hand. Uh, special summon a mini hobby monster from hobby lady monster from your deck graveyard to your hand. Um, your channeler, the perfumer, cancel hobby ladies. I think they also count as a grave. Let me check. Quickly check. Yeah. Feel and graveyard. So yeah. That's the main deck. And mirror watch just there as a tech card that I also love to run in Hobby Monster. So next my my extra deck. My extra is two um Harpy Bet by Dasmo Dragon. This is actually a pointed card to this deck because it's one of the strategies you could go to. Is because when it have materials in this um when it has materials it could act directly, inflicting two thousand damage mostly each turn, 
in each end phase you had to discard the material so yeah as long as it has the material you can attack directly um Jitori to return the card from the deck to, on the field to back to the deck is back to the deck yeah return target the card and return to the deck when it's summoned and also may remove material I speed surf serifying um the negate monster effects on the field and for the rank twos I'm running a crumble hold on let me read this name crumble logos the prophet of domination mostly number 45 my bad um number 45 um rank monster on rank two mostly and um, what it does is that when it's on the field you can detach the material uh, negate the card of, on the field and the card cannot be activated and cards with the same name cannot be activated so yeah it's like if you want to negate like a field spell or something like that you can negate the field spell and then your opponent cannot activate no more other field spell unlock but then they can negate it by some setting like another field spell and activating it but any thing like a face of continuous trap or spell you can negate or a master effect that that allows you to be target and yeah um next sky sky calibre uh sky calibre sent uh sorry can i pronounce the name this guy i hope you can see the name uh what it does is that when they tap battles a monster um, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and at the end of the battle phase, um, and at the end, um, the monster goes back to the, um, hand. So mostly the card to bounce back, to, to bounce back, similar to, um, Chidori, but this evolving battle phase, or battling, and um, it's ranked two, so you can go through summon through Hobby Girl, but the main, one of the main strategy is summoning Cat Shark. Um, Cash Arc, what it does is, oh, it has one effect was if you special summon it with water materials, but that's doesn't matter right now. What matters is that you could detach one material, tr uh, target a rank four or lower um, monster on your field. That rank four or lower um, monster attack is the original attack is double. So you could, your main strategy is go to Hobby Bed Phantasmal Dragon, summon this. Use the effect to discard a card, double the pet Phantasmal Dragon to 4000, attack directly. And Phantasmal Dragon effect is that Harpy Monster cannot be um, target or by battle or card effects. So it has some kind of protection to themselves. And yeah. Um, Cash Arc, double Phantasmal, attack directly 4000. Then, because it can attack directly, mostly 3 turns. Um, tag two more times, extra turns, and that equal, um, 8,000 total, so that might be game. Again, this is for casual play, nothing competitive, I'd like to remind you. And lastly, for the links, oh, actually, there are more, but links, hobby card doctor, the hobby card, link spider, link spider, the calling link summon by using a ring four or, no, a vanilla monster mostly, or normal monster. Then um you can special summon a level four or lower normal monster from your dead hand to your field. So you can summon Happy Girl. Use this. Special summon um a Happy Lady. Activate Elicit Icatus and stuff like that. Um because I'm running Tribe Kit kit. Um I'm running Tribe Kit for this monster, I cannot pronounce the name. If we can focus. For for reach it, for reach it. Um, yeah. Um, what its effect is that you could um mostly special summon a level level four or lower wing piece or piece or piece warrior, but mostly wing piece from your deck hand to the field. So you could let's say special summon this through, or leak summon this through happy girl. And um, yeah, activate Happy Crow effect to special summon. Oh, Rescue Rabbit, summon Rescue Rabbit 
JB Rice grab it to get you happy girls. Um, link summon to this card, and then use this card to affect this special summon. Let's say, um, um, we call it Chandler from your hand. Use Chandler effect to get perfumer. Get perfumer effect to get elegant egotist. Special summon the happy lady. Then link summon to. Um, you can also link summon to Abby Mascarena. And because I'm not having things special, so I'm running um, Mac Knight, Crusadia, Crusadia, um, Aram, Aramax. Um, it's Abby Mascara if you use as a link summon material for another link, like this guy. Um, this guy get extra protection and he already has protection on himself. So that's a good thing. And just because I could possibly summon a Pelosa with force the gate, but then again, um, it'll attack it lower and lower. But then that's why that's mirror wall. Or you can also special summon this by activating historic party. At least try to summon four happy ladies or mo happy monster from the grave. If like in the long run, like uh, in two turns or three turns later, again this is a casual play. Nothing competitive, so yeah, you could get to Appaloosa by activating Historic Party and such. And lastly, to Hobby slash Cyber slash Hobby Lady, um, a Hobby Monster mostly. So mostly that is it. Um, again, this is my Hobby Girl. Um, I will. Mostly, yeah, there's mostly my happy girl deck. Focus on her. And not fo completely focused on her, but yeah, there's mostly few strategy I mentioned through the video that you could do, like summon her with a screw rabbit, then you could link summon. Go for a happy mascrena to um, Avramax, or you could go and try to cash shark and then summon happy, um, link summon one happy girl to. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there are a couple of things you could do. So that's right. Actually, based on your hand, what you get, there your strategy might change. But yeah, that's the happy girl deck. Sorry for this video being long. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. I'll be probably making a deck profile and the AMV to go along with the deck profile. Um, if you haven't checked, there's an AMV to go along with this short video as well. Um, but yeah, um, probably be making videos again, probably once a month because I might be able to see with life and such. So yeah, look up for my other videos and till next time, hope you enjoy this. Alright, bye.